Bullshittery of the Week, a shortcast by Andy and Dan. The Andy and Dan shortcast contains strong language and utter bullshit for art. Enjoy. Welcome to the uh, Andy and Dan Shodcast, part episode, uh, episode 20. 21. One. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am Andy, the Drew Gamer, and this is Daniel of Dangerous Designs. Yes, correct. Well done. <laughs> I, I'll get it right eventually. I don't know the camera was that. It's correct. I'll be right. So, this episode, we're going to be talking about E3 because that's coming up. Yes. Um, probably some other game news and stuff that we've got. Yeah. And some features returning because we didn't do them in the last one. Yes, because it was a it was a special. I have to do on the spot features because I forgot to get something. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so first of all, first of all, what have you been playing before we get into predictions? 
Well, I wasn't going to do predictions, but... Um, okay, or whatever what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is... I mean, what are we going to do? What I've been playing is Injustice 2. <laughs> um, Dragon Quest Heroes 2. A lot of 2s. Yeah. yeah, I've been in 2s. Uh, I got back into Horizon as well. So I've been playing a bit of Horizon. Horizon 2. So, no, Dawn. That's not a 2. <laughs> Zero, 2. However, it used to be the Mighty Thor Horizon 2. Already, yeah. Um, I think that's fine. Yeah. I'm finding uh, Dragon Quest 2 Heroes. It's really good, like, the um, <coughs> combat's been massively improved upon and there's that sort of world map feature to it where you can just go running around you don't have to just go straight into a mission and just go to that map and do that. Is it as big as uh, the demo made it look like it is? Oh my, yes. <laughs> oh my stars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of, well, there's six kingdoms, but like, uh, seven kingdoms, but you can only get four of them. Mm. The other three are like monster kingdoms or something. And then you have to. Uh, they're like all next to each other in the map, but you can go to the map where you go to. They're all like at the back, and you can go up to the front of it, and it's like, this is the kingdom of whatever. <laughs> and you can't go into it. Oh, Just right. what it says is like, this is the kingdom of Kadama. <laughs> that locks for story reasons, something. No. Okay. <laughs> Just can't get to it. Um, something does happen in the story. It's like this massive battle yeah. that went on for like. Wu Jang fights. <laughs> it was worse than Wu Jang fights. It was horrendous. It was like, Jesus. <laughs> one of those guys. It was like it was ridiculous. It was like it was about six battles or something, like one after another, and it was just like Jesus. kept going. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Consecutive battles. And you had to go off and do like other things, and then all of a sudden, like, it's like. Oh no, the left flank is falling. You need to go over there now. And then it teleport you over there. And I'm like, oh no, the western. <laughs> it's like, okay, eat oysters. <sighs> it's like, oh god! <laughs> Jeez. Um, well, what have you been playing, Daniel? Well, first off, I was going to talk about um, you both can play Pokemon Go more than us. Ah, uh, yes. Because of the uh, adventure event. I was going to say the adventure time. Yeah, event. the adventure <laughs> event. Where we both got all the. Well, you didn't get a steal it, did you? You got. Nah. You just didn't get enough onyx to get a steel oh, like six But you did get a Poopita. Yeah, but that wasn't even one from, I wasn't even catching Lavatar, so no. it wasn't even affected by the event. So. No. I only found one Lavatar, and that was in the first. The first day I went out on that Pokemon Go event, I found like literally everything. Yeah. I got Slugma, Onyx, Geodude, my ca- uh, no, I think it's Macargo, I got that a few days later. Yeah, uh, Ride right on. Right on. Kabuto, Aerodactyl, Lavatar. I didn't find a shuffle, but I already had a shuffle. Yeah. Corsolo, we can't find. Yeah. And. Oh, of and then. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? Um, no yeah. Because Slugmo evolves into a rock. I know, yeah. That's the idea. We'll let you have Slug, um, Slugmo because he evolves into one. <laughs> and I think that's it. Like, I got a Golem eventually. That was the last one yeah. I got. Um, Steelix, because like it just kept getting like metal coats from places. I got a Kingdra as well because like I went to one of the poker stops that ran the game near King uh, Dragon Scale. Yeah, but it wasn't a seven day street break. Yeah, kind of the game it made. That's why I got a Kingdra after another upgrade, <laughs> just a random one. Um, yeah, we got Radon and Gold pretty quick because I, I found a few GOD and stuff prior to the event. Yeah, was most of the other stuff. Oh yeah, I had like a hatch and egg yesterday with a bloody Rhyhorn. I was just like, yeah. oh great! Although it will come in handy because of the of eventually getting Rhyperia, but we don't know when that is. Yeah. I keep hatching those Pokemon up, though, like in a row from eggs. Like, I've shown the ponies off from 5k eggs. Yeah. Like, about five in the last few weeks. It's like, that's it. It's proper annoying. And bull pigs as well. Like, a few of them. Yeah. I need, I need bull pigs. Yeah. It's always the ones you need that they don't give you, basically. Yeah. I did get a Paragon <laughs> from an egg, which is nice. Um, should have been like a pixelised egg. Yeah, it should. loads of polygons on it. just been a zero. <laughs> Put one in it and it unlocks it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> Do you? I don't. Uh, did your uh, adventures take you anywhere interesting? No. From that one to the Aerodactyl. <laughs> no, I got an Aerodactyl at Spoons. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got mad in Kids Grove. <laughs> I went all the way to Kids Grove and he's like, I was like a church. I went to, well, the first day I just went from here to town and then back again and yeah. I got like packs there. <laughs> yeah, and then, then the second day I was like, I'll go to Ashby Mirror and then I barely found anything. Yeah. In fact, it, like, when it's an area you like, with more like, say, water types, it'll prioritise even over the event. Yeah. Which is a bit annoying, but. Because when I walked down the canal, it was like, just all the usual water types are fine. But you got a dragon out though, at some point. It did, yeah, randomly. Found a spot with like, Dratini teeth appearing, but it's like a rare pit there. Yeah. And then random dragon out of pit. It's like, very good. And then you have to find a dragon out. Yeah, just to spite me. <laughs> the skate park as well, we go to. Skating around. Cowabunga. <laughs> and all that. So I was only really fan lava talk, because I pretty much live on a small mountain. Yeah. So it's like, it pretty much eats mountains or something. It's it wasn't big enough to eat it. It's like just a light snack, so it wasn't <laughs> interested. <laughs> Lights. <laughs> but yeah, that's where we go. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, um, what do you think of the next event? Up here? I know there might be a, a random 4th of July one. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they put in it, but they might do it. Yeah, you're trying to think like what times are on, what are like... They'd be like, oh, fireworks, because 4th of July. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> That'd Lights be good. Out. Because yeah. we don't get a lot of fire types around here. Yeah. More desert the only reason they get with like dragon, even though there's enough dragons in the game, is like I don't know Chinese New Year. I know. Everyone I was the year of the dragon. Just <laughs> <laughs> bring some really tedious links to it, like national holiday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the next one could be. They might do a ground one, I guess. Yeah. Ground, ground holiday. Day. Yeah. Ground holiday. <laughs> The deep's not in it yet, though, so. That's, I don't know, close to a groundhog. Alright, okay. No, that was just a dick. That's not a groundhog type. What? Like, oh, yeah, link to Earth Day, the deep. The deep in the sass, but yeah, that's a Pokemon Go. End of that, just um, to play in a WWE 2K Sony. Yes. And more that again. <coughs> Getting uh, obsessed with the creative sweet thing. Yeah. Very nice. I made me and you. I made me ages ago. Yeah. Made you with the face. Yeah, because we're going to do something <laughs> soon. We'll talk about that soon, though. Yes. Um, something coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Might be related to what I just said. <laughs> um, yeah. And making those things and stuff. So. Yeah. Nice. 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 Yeah. That's pretty much it, really. We need to get a drink for a series, too. Yeah. And then, uh, Crash Bandicoot 12. <laughs> yeah, when that comes out. And Crash Bandicoot. <sighs> I'm going to have to bypass Crash Bandicoot. I'm just, just get it for Christmas. Just get it for you. <laughs> After you've had a break down for trying to replay it. <laughs> trying to replay Crash 1. I'll be alright with 2 and 3, because we've, like... We've done 3 recently. Right? Yeah, so... I'm the Drew Gamer. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh... Crash 1 I haven't played in years. I'm glad with good cars. a bit of it, yeah. Okay, just again, enough of it. Yeah. Right. Okay. News! Game news! news. E3 yes. is coming up. Yeah. However, I'm really annoyed. Why is that, Andrew? Because I'm going to California. I was going there and I was going to watch it with Richie. Yeah. And uh, it said it started from the 13th. Oh, Daniel, you're a sim. Oh, yeah. It said it was going to start from the 13th to the 16th. I thought, oh, that's really cool because they go on the 12th. However, the conferences <laughs> However. <laughs> start from the 10th up until the 13th. I might just be able to catch the Sony ones. <laughs> yeah. If I get there in time. I can watch it after. <laughs> get an emergency flight. Just so, <laughs> okay, so we've got EA, which is part of the E3 opening ceremony right, okay. or something. Oh, you know, schedule, right? I wrote this down so we could tell the people. No more than I did. <laughs> uh, Saturday the 10th of June at 12pm California time 8pm at UK time yes <clears throat> Microsoft is the 11th of June at 2pm uh, California time 10pm UK time mm -hmm. Bethesda is also the 11th of June 7pm California time and then 3am on the 12th UK time yeah Ubisoft is Monday the 12th at 1pm uh, California time and 9pm UK time however I'll be on the plane <laughs> so <laughs> I'll be like, ah, what a on the blade. <laughs> That'd be amazing if we could yeah. just like link it up to the sky. <laughs> uh, Sony is Monday the twelfth at six pm. 
California yeah. time, so I should be able to watch that one. And 2 a.m. UK time, because those are the two that I usually like to watch, Ubisoft and Sony. But. So, what one you're missing again? I Ubisoft can... and Sony. Ubisoft, Sony, okay. Well, I might be able to get Sony because I land at three at two forty-five. Yeah. Their time, <laughs> and then very early, got it. And then uh, I have to get to his, and then it'll probably be time to watch it. Yeah. Um. So I might have to just like keep dipping in and out of it to be honest. <laughs> but I'll get all the news on it and stuff. Uh, and then Nintendo's doing something on the thirteenth at nine a.m. California time, five p.m. UK time. Right. And then it opens up to the public. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, what's the schedule? What are you expecting to see? Well, they've said a few things. Like oh, yeah. they've said Assassin's Creed is coming. Like I got an email about it. It's like, like here's a few things that are coming from Ubisoft, and it says something about Assassin's Creed. A yeah. new Assassin's Creed, and it's probably based in Egypt. I saw a screenshot, and I'll link that to for you and then you can probably put that on the screen or something yeah. to show it um, hmm. and it showed a guy on the Nile essentially in a little boat <laughs> <What rowing. is laughs> like in a little hand woven basket like <laughs> Moses or whatever well, just stood in it because there's a fully grown yeah. map because <laughs> um, they like mentioned Egypt quite a lot and yeah. it was even there was a screenshot of it even in Assassin's Creed 4 and like a random email that you could read and it was just showed this picture <laughs> email of future game so it was just like it's called Assassin's it might be called Assassin's Creed Origins yeah um, and it seems to be based around Egypt which is really cool which is good for me because I used to want to be an archaeologist you want to, used to want to be a I used to want to, I used to want to be an Egypt <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be um, something else that they might show. I don't know if it was confirmed that they're showing it or not, but Red Dead 2. Yeah, I've got um, some news that said they might be pushing it, they probably been pushed back to 2019. Yeah. Um, they showed us a new screenshot. Which I've, uh, well, it would be good to see a video, but I don't know at this point. Yeah. With the, uh, so that might be there, might not be there. They might show something really small. Mm. Um, I did find a list of stuff Sony might be showing. I don't know if it's confirmed or not. Yes. Uh, Days Gone, which I think is that zombie horde thing oh, that yeah. looked really creepy. Yeah, I think they made you panic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Death Stranding, which is the oh, yeah. Kojima. Kojima again. Uh, Detroit uh, oh, yeah. being human or something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I Robot. <laughs> I Robot, yeah. Uh, God of War. Oh, yeah. Old yeah. Man. Yeah, <laughs> old, old man crap Kratos. Um, Gran Turismo something I didn't write the rest of it down. Yeah. Knack two, which is pretty random because Knack was like, like a yeah, PS4 like a release launch. Yeah, that didn't do well at all. No. <laughs> uh, Spider Man. Oh yeah, I was waiting to see some of that. Uh, the Last of Us two and then Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. Didn't you always bring up that last Uncharted? Is that that one? Is that that one they showed last time? Maybe. I can't, I can't really remember much about it. I think like, one, and I thought it would already really come out for some reason. Yeah, I, I thought <coughs> 4 was the final one. Yes. And then obviously we're doing Uncharted The Last Legacy, so it might be something else. The last, last game. Yeah. <laughs> I've got, I've got Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, yeah. There seems to be a lot of stuff about that. But. <laughs> put a story in it. Yeah. <laughs> they need to put a story in it. They well, have been. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's about like a. From a Tie Fighter Pilot's perspective, something after the fall of the Empire. Yeah. It's not like that, We <laughs> <laughs> take the role of the Tie Fighter. <laughs> Tie Fighter's perspective. It's like Thomas Sunk Engine and they've all got faces on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got Star Wars Battlefront 2 coming Yes And get some information about that, which would be really good So it's good that they've actually got story mode in it this time Unlike the last one, which was just stupid And they've got um, campaigns um, with all the films Ah, oh, cool So I'm too sad and look, in there, don't I? Yeah. look forward to that Yes 
Um, the same something about uh, Crash Bandicoot trilogy is going to be there, but I don't see the point of why it would be. I think it's turned out Spyro. Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe they like that. Or oh, maybe like in if this you play Crash team. Three, if you do that cheat, you might be able to play as like a Spyro demo. Yeah, like a level. Oh, I did it in the originals. Um, Class. And they finally showed some Crash Warps, I think they. Yeah. They showed the. Uh, Egyptian Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Yeah. That lovely level. Hmm. I wonder if they'll have any additional levels in it. Secrets. Maybe. Uh, but that might just be on the <laughs> on the floor. Not literally on the floor, but you know, like the public area. <laughs> I'll be on the floor because it's people are sick yeah, of playing it. <laughs> the, yeah. Yeah, the showcase floor. Play, yeah. So you might be able to play. That's might, might be what it means. It might not mean it's coming on. <laughs> or or Crash Bandicoot might actually just be there in yeah, person. Just a Bandicoot. <laughs> he was crashed. With it. like crash cut into his foot. <laughs> Shaved into the back of his head. Crush. Um. Okay. Dark Side is. Gems. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew that? <laughs> Dark Side of three is going to be absent from E three. Yeah. It's just been an absent. Yeah. <clears throat> Which looks really good. I'm very excited for that. Because I've been waiting for like, the next Dark Siders for a long time. However, <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I wish they'd just hurry up and get on with it. Because the way that two ended was the same Ooh. way one ended. Yeah. So this one's going to end exactly the same, probably. Yeah. And so will four. Then they'll put all four of them in a game, probably once we get to five, and it'll continue the story from there. Yeah. Then but, you have problems with funding and stuff. That's why like, it took so long. Then the studio got out and then yeah, they like got bought out. they got bought by Nordic Games. Yeah, and then they redid both of them, and it was really popular. Probably have to get the cash back with the remakes. Yeah, to make the next. And that's how to I'd like it if all four of the horsemen were playable in the one game, but they're not. Eventually, they will be eventually. Yeah. And it's all to do with uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Oh. And she's Fury's got on to uh, to be like, oh, I'm gonna take him out. Be like, uh, uh. with a sassy red. <laughs> it it's looks really quick. interesting though. It does. Yes. I haven't seen anything about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, some other stuff that well, I, well, I'm, ho I'm hoping to see some Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, hopefully. We hoping we keep hoping for that, and then like that one wasn't last year, was it? it was the year before. They actually did show some of Kingdom Hearts 3, and that was the yeah. uh, Tangled stuff. And yeah. Master Zayn was there. Oh shit, yeah. That was, <laughs> Real at life, Master Zayn. that was at the Square Enix event, though, wasn't it? But they're not doing one. Aren't they? Because they kept showing stuff, and it was like, oh, why are they not showing any? Like, they kept showing like stuff to do with Kingdom Hearts, but it wasn't that, and they're like, oh, yes. And then, oh, by the way, here's the trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3 or something, and then they were like, hello. I'm this guy. He's like, no, you're Zayn. I'm Master Zayn. <laughs> um, so we'll hopefully get, get some news back in the Hearts. That might be during the Sony conference. Yeah. That's usually when it appears. Mm -hmm. There's a Japan concert, conference, I'd say, conference after, not long after E3. Uh, Tokyo. Tokyo. Game show. Game show. Uh, I think that's September. EGS. September. Mm. I think it's usually September. Yeah. Might see some Mino Kuni 2. Maybe. Yeah, I'll put that down. So, some new stuff for Nina Kenny yeah. too. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake is probably going to be there. Because mm. our original prediction it was going to be coming out this year, but I don't think it will. Unless it comes out in Japan first. Yeah, this one. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been split into. Well, that's what they said at the time, they might have changed it, but I doubt they would have changed it. Yeah, I would have thought they'll want to not delay it too much longer. Yeah, so it's one. the 20th anniversary this year. Then when it actually is. It'll be late this year, otherwise, if it is going to come out. Yeah. Yeah. And then the only other thing I've got is Pokemon? Question mark. Pokemon? Oh, see, yeah. if, see if anything comes out to oh. do with maybe Star coming out on the Switch. Oh, yeah. I hope so. the 3DS as well. I think it will be, because it's, it'll use the same engine as Sun and Moon. Plus, because how many. Um, because their whole. Uh, Game a base is based on handheld. Yeah. So even though, you know, nah. <laughs> they could obviously do more on the Switch. It's like, yeah. You don't alienate your core target. No. Unless you just want to sell more Switches. I mean, it'd be cool to see it on the 
the Switch, but I think it will come out on the 3DS yeah, as well. I love playing the console, it's just like. I can't aim. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> can't afford a Switch. Go to the PS4. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Um, what have I got? Something to expect. Yeah, I'm sorry, Zan, I forgot that. Yeah, we can talk about that. Meaning to. Oh, yeah, Dragon Quest XI. Oh, yeah, that's true. You can see more stuff on that. Oh, they just showed the um, Dragon Quest Classic information I saw was the Rhyme Double Master. Yeah, that's true. 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 Yeah, that's that's cool. And one, like, you obviously a dragon you can use to fly. Yeah. Um, dragon Quest. Dragon Quest. <laughs> um, but yeah, also, the, I like the, like the fact they've done three different styles. I keep going on about it, but like, they showed like the rival mapping, they showed like the two, like the 2D yeah. sprite. Because like, in the 3DS version, on the bottom screen, it's like the old style, and then on the top screen, it's the sort of. Yeah, you can switch the between there, yeah. too. And then obviously on the PS4 it's the fully like yeah. Dragon Quest Eight style. Full way. Yeah. But yeah, it's really looks good. I'll probably get that quite later because yeah. the, the how long it takes them to put it to our countries. Like. Yeah. Despite it being very uh, British. Yeah. Be like really in the whole British voice kind It of might stuff. not though, considering how well Dragon Quest Heroes One and Two did. Yeah. They yeah. might realise that people do actually like it. Oh yeah. And it shouldn't take too long for Panora. I think it only came Burr. out. I can't remember where it came out in Japan, but it wasn't that long ago for Heroes 2. No. And then it came out here. Yeah, we think it was quite well, okay. Well, the big one, the, the big one, the first one did because um, he was at E3 and like he was. Yeah, I remember went, that. He was a little hype around it and stuff, and he had it on the conference board and stuff. So you could play it. Yeah. People raving about it, so yeah, I think they've done well. Um, did 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 did. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, uh, somewhere with Spirit the Sand is out. Obviously, I'm really free, but oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I don't know. I don't really know much about it other than I was gonna say the game about the Sand of <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like with that. From what I read on how the world map thing is, it's not open, but like it's like certain battles going on on the world map, like yeah. an overview world map, and you can take part in them any time and do skirmishes and stuff like that. It seems like a predecessor to what they're going to do with Dinosaurs Nine. Yeah. In sort of like semi open. Yeah, because like with Nine, it's all like you can go off and you can run around. Yeah, and it's stuff fully and open world. They need like chapters are eras, mm -hmm. so a character might not. Seem well, characters won't survive past what they were in history. Yeah. <laughs> so, and each character apparently has a story. Yeah, well, they should be built. It's like going back to the five. Yeah. Four, five. Um, I think they have said now that there is some sort of weapon switch in it, but I mm. don't. I just like I don't like weapon switch because it just takes away from the fact that the characters are unique. Yeah. Especially in eight when they like actually gave every character a unique weapon, mm. and then they like just changed it anyway. Yeah. So, uh, it's really about the world map. Nine, yeah. Yeah, the world map, and it's like each. So they're saying like, I don't know when Javion survives up to. Maybe Yi Ling, or maybe just after. But they're saying mm. he won't be around in the chapters that say like Wang Langji's and because yeah. she's in Jin. Like they did with uh, the old ones, and they were just yeah. like, still yeah. around. Like they're just like because they're like at later eras. They were like, okay, well this. We haven't got any characters left, so we'll just make this yeah. character survive beyond when they were. Yeah, Javion was like alive forever, pretty much. Yeah. So we've yeah. had like characters that were supposed to be dead for like centuries. Mm. I mean, with four, you could it sort of worked because it was just, like it was a kingdom-based story mode. It wasn't. Yeah. And like you just like you could play as anyone, and just like your all the characters appeared, and just like certain characters. Yeah, you play as your kingdom movies. Yeah. So. But in this one, it's all to do with like. Keeping the time frame and stuff, and um, they've changed up the combat as well. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see. I hope it does well because yeah. like the Rembo system was horrible, but this is saying yeah, it's more. Nervous. They're, they're like very situational and combo finishers, and mm. you've got like, like you can do it in canyons and stuff, and then how it <laughs> does it is different each time. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say because like um, like play, hoping it be stick to one weapon per character. Like, um, they should just expand 
the move set for each. Yeah, I think they're doing that as well. They mentioned something about like they're making a bit more unique for mm. each character. There was something about um, well, they've they've given the new character Chen Ku a the same weapon as Jack yeah, Fei, Pike, Joel Pike, Joel Pike, because that's what he was known for. But <sighs> does that mean that they're going to end up with the same move set or mm. or not? But I don't because in old Dynasty it's like the general. Like the, the lead has always had a sword and the first three square buttons were the same yeah. but everything else was different and it made them unique mm-hmm. but um, in the same vein it's like just because he has a, a dual spike doesn't mean he's going to have the same yeah, no, face no. it's like you know it could be two different two different stack types of it there's numerous types of swords that people use and stuff and they use, yeah. all use differently so just, everyone's just like oh well, he's got that so he's going to be a clone, it's like, no, it doesn't mean that. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if Zhang Yao's was identical to Guan Yu's, but I think it was. No, it wasn't, it was completely different. Yeah, the first, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his moveset was different. Yeah. I can't remember if, like, the square combat, like, That's the what I was trying to think, three, then, the first three. But I don't think they were. No, was, I always remember them looking slightly different, so. Yeah, it'd be I actually forgot Zhang Yao used to have that. I wish he still had a bit. Yeah. He's a babe with that. Yeah, and now he's got his twin. Oh, what's he got now? He's got the twin Halberd, so has it changed? Um, I can't remember. I also can't remember the recent games. I long. think he does, because they were supposed to give it, because it was Pang Day's weapon, wasn't it? And then. Did the, he get the club? Yeah, he got the club. The Wolf 2 club. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I should give him back that. But we haven't seen too much of it, so we might see a bit at E3. Yeah, they so might show a bit quite a few screenshots. Yeah, we've got quite a few screenshots. They brought the bows back, the random third person, person bow. Bow for every character. <laughs> for every character. Um, there's siege, proper sieges, like you can scale walls with a grappling hook, grappling hook and things. And and mountains, you can climb mountains. Yeah, <laughs> and you can like, just run between battles and do side quests and stuff. Once yeah, you, within that cool. chapter, once you finish the main mission of that chapter, then it finishes and goes to the, the next, next area. area. So characters might only have a couple of battles or they might have a few. I imagine uh, like sort of the bonus sort of characters would be like extra yeah. in that area sort of thing. There's like a few characters that just didn't do anything and things. It's just yeah. like, well, what are they going to do? Yeah, they'll have, they'll have like um, additional side quests just yeah. for them sort of thing. So it'd be given more content, which would be cool. Because I mean, every character's coming back. Yeah. We've said every character is going back, so that's cool. And what's that new one who was in that? All oh, stars? Joe Kang. Joe Kang. Joe Kang. <laughs> Joe Kang. Hi, I'm Joe Joe Kang. And he has like that weird sort of blade. I can't remember. I can't remember what it is, but I just remember it's like a blade. <laughs> is that some sort of blade? So there's two characters being revealed, new characters, which are Joe Kang for Shu and Chen Fu for Wu. Chen Fu for Wu. And he's uh. Um, like a veteran character, I believe. But yeah. he's someone who they've wanted to play him for a long time. Or well, people wanted to them, didn't it? Yeah. But it was like the, the it was supposed parents. to be like the five tiger generals of Wu or something, <laughs> yeah. and then the new, and then other people took it over. Yeah, and passed it on. Because <clears throat> it was Han Dang, Feng Gai, <laughs> Sun Jian, Cheng Pu. Mm. Maybe one other one, I don't know. Yeah. Feng Gai. I said Feng Gai. Poor guy too. <laughs> Two guy. Two guy. <laughs> oh, what else was there? Um, I mean, they put in a um, obviously yeah horses. Yeah. But like put boats in them. Yeah. Because he said swimming manually can take ages. Or be it. But do you remember like when we played six? We were yes. To, I can't remember which um, story it was. And we, and we couldn't find how to get back onto land. <laughs> it was um. It was Chibi. Chibi, Chibi with the boats. But. It was so dark, and we just couldn't find out to get on. I can't remember what story. I think it's it was Lou Boo's story, wasn't it? It's because they bloody they made it with Grand Land near boats was by a ladder, and they were dead hard to find. You know, like you were hard hardly any of them, so we were just going around the edges for ages and doing all the boats like a maze of boats because it's TV. Yeah, Chibi. That's a one of them would say. Um, yeah, you just couldn't find it. It was like ridiculous. Six seemed a big. Yeah, but. I can't tell if it was felt more like that because the camera 
didn't seem as close to your character. Yeah, the maps were huge. They, were. they just did take ages to get anywhere, but I think it was just because it was so hard that you spent most of your time running away. Yeah. Trying to get health. It was so bad. So tough. Yeah. What's um, oh, it? Sorry, it's mine. I've been out. Oh yeah, what other characters would that see? Can you think of any other characters? Remember? I don't remember because I've been ages since I played it. Uh, I can't think of anyone to be honest. Like, most of the people that I wanted in it are already in it. Probably like, I don't know. Oh, there's, there's probably a few that were mentioned. Yeah. <clears throat> I like did that random ones. It was like that one that was supposed to be from Africa or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, you have, like a shooting star weapon. It's probably like a mace or something. That would be cool. It's bald. I remember you were. Yeah, that random name. That wasn't Huchaya, was it? Or was it Huchaya? It didn't say. It was, actually, it might have been. I think he was said like of non-Chinese descent, but it was specified. Yeah. It could have been Africa, but I don't know. There was there was a few, and I do remember like. Yeah, I don't really know much about Jin. A lot no, of people yeah. are saying like more Jahos and more Sours. <laughs> more Jahu for your buck. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're like saying ads. Everyone's like, oh, show us a female character already. So they've really just started revealing the information. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> and one was from like a game that's just come out, so you know, we're gonna just give them a minute. Um, I mean, in A, I don't think any female characters got revealed till quite late into it. Was it was revealed in A. I can't remember it, was it? Well, I mean, just in general, like, okay. not new female characters, but just female just, in general. Yeah, just, uh, I think the first female revealed was probably Sunshine Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> and then in this one, it'll probably <laughs> be. <laughs> Sunshine Dragon and Wang Yuanji seem to be, like, the most popular females. Mm. Yeah. Wang Wang <laughs> She had the uh, knife in the chin. Yeah, throwing daggers things. Mm. Yeah. I can't think of that. Mm. What, females? Was there any females as in. Hey. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, uh, yeah, Guan Yin Ping. Yeah, I was going to say the new. Um, Guan. The children. The Guan child. <laughs> those new gen children it's just like oh yeah do you know what she really needed every single one of Gordon Yu's children oh, yeah, yeah all our relations it's like oh god got a shang bow as well yeah yeah it doesn't focus heavily on them yeah hopefully they weren't breaking any more relatives because I think we've got them covered pretty yeah. much I think it's just because like they did Jin and then they'd like okay we need more characters for late Shu yeah late Shu yeah they were quite prominent weren't they so that's fear in your um, because it was all to do with Liu Shan, wasn't it? And yeah. Great. Uh, oh, you wanted a um, late Wu. Yeah, I want late Wu. Did it go that far with the Jin story? <laughs> no, I didn't. Because like, like, they just ignore it. Yeah. They're like, oh, Jin fought Shu. That's what they did, and then when they got taken out, that was it. So they just don't focus on late Wu at all. Maybe because it's. They need Zhuge Jin. I think that's who. Yeah. Part of it, and then another like the the sun. <laughs> and that you get <laughs> the sun character, or sun descendant who uh, was really evil. Sun poo poo. Because apparently sun Quan was like really like tyrannic. Yeah, I think probably most of the leaders were. To be fair, it's probably why they were so part, successful. Part of, apart from uh, Liu Beck, he was just like oh, it was just like tyrannically benevolent. Benevolent. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this apple. I don't want it, Lord Liu Bei. Too good! Kill that man. <laughs> Benevolently. <laughs> I read, read something before. I can't remember. I was on Co Warriors, but it's like. They wanted this character added because he was like. Because at one point there was uh, like a, a barley shortage or something, there was a drought, and they, <laughs> couldn't, they couldn't make drink. And like he was talking to Leo Bei. Barley shortage, yeah. And they were like walking around, and he was like, oh, you need to arrest that man. He goes, why? He's going to rape that woman. <laughs> and he's like, what? He's like, well, it's like, why? How do you know he's capable of that? It's like, well, well, we're capable of being like this when we've not had a drink or something. He's like, and then Leo Bay laughed and like pardoned the man. Well, we hadn't done it. We just assumed he was going to rape someone because he hadn't had a drink. <laughs> it's like, okay, great. Surely he's more likely to if he's had a few drinks. 
They need to do something more with the Nan Man, I think, as well. Because all they do is just like sit there. <laughs> they do more with that Nan Man, they just sat there. Scratching the bums. Riding their elephants. Oh, yeah, because they showed it. Did you show like that on the world map on the um, Nan? Keep on the world map, just the map. Yeah. Like the tropical locations. Nice. As um, <laughs> Nice. <laughs> as Menk most of those, what's he got? Um, Gorgeous. No, he's got the. That's been given the pillow. Yeah, he got. In... At, uh, in eight empires, they all because all the DLC weapons got given to characters. I, I seriously I forgot after it. A, I barely remember much of. I don't know why. I've taken out hypothetical play. routes. Yeah, the wife scenarios. Yeah, which is fine. But yeah, anyone who hard to do on any that. DLC weapon was put into eight <laughs> was given to a character. Yeah, oh, a pillar. <laughs> so he's got given the pillar. He's got uh, Yu Ying's got the blade bow back. No, uh, yeah. Dung Eye got the rotating crossbow, or whatever it was. Oh shit. He doesn't have his. I don't know why they gave him that, because he was unique. Yeah, Dung Eye was so good with freaking drill. Drill spear. Yeah. So they were trying to make him more. Who got the drill spear? No one. They got. Why? Yeah, because he was unique. Yeah. <sighs> no, um, someone will get it. I'll Sun... enjoy that. <laughs> Sun. Not Sun Quan. Uh, Liu Shan had the rapier and he was unique to it and it was like okay that kind of fits in because of how yeah. how he is and they gave him the bench and then they brought in the bench and then they gave it to him you know not like some old kung fu master they could have introduced yeah they gave him character. a bench that was very counter heavy yeah well he is he do well Andrew he does do fuck all <laughs> yeah. He was an Easter egg. It was in the surprise, except the surprise was disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> what you want from your eggs is disappointment. How we were shown. I think I'm Yeah. I'm missing. What was I missing? Um, oh, map. yeah. Yeah, the huge map, but it was like you had to follow him around. You had to follow him around and he's like, I think I'll go for a walk and then like it out. at the end it was like, did Liu Chan predict all this was going to happen? It's like, no! <laughs> no he, he just surrendered. Let it all <laughs> he surrendered because he was a coward. So I'm trying to give him more character. <laughs> well, he did not. Like, Dan's Rose 4 got it right in Jiang Wei's uh, legend stage. Oh. Where he had to keep hitting the gongs to stop him from escaping. Oh, shit, yeah. oh he had to get his weapon. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> Daniel, Sad do you know what we should do? For playthrough. Yeah. I think we should do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> get in <here> first. <laughs> I, I need to get a, a, a PS2 emulator. Nice voice for Let's Play. Coming. <laughs> Coming. At <laughs> some point. At <laughs> some point, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what else? It was so bad, though. In hindsight, because he just locked onto characters. Yeah. Oh god, that's going to be a nightmare. Um. So yeah. Dance Wars. Kagasaki. That was the wrong game, but. Oh, it's a Goku Bazaar. Maybe we'll see that later. Uh, uh, do you have what anything else? else? Nine. Nothing on nine. I think that's pretty much it for nine. Um. I said I'll put GTA Six question mark. As we said, it's a nine. What did you like? Dropping surprises. 
So, never know. So I saw about Far Cry 5 before. I just saw a picture of it. Yeah. It's like something to do with like <laughs> extreme Christians. <laughs> extreme Christianity and the like, and like the church is going mental. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Because if you target um, religious people in the West, people go mental, don't they? Yeah. Um, the Japanese are like, oh, that's funny. Ha <laughs> ha, you fools. <laughs> I didn't play the last one. Or was it Far Cry? Oh, was it Far Cry oh, that okay. I played? Okay. No, it was um, Just Cause. That was it. I was kind of confused. It's like open three. world destru- destructive. I need to play Just Cause Three. I saw like the yeah. gameplay of that. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I know it's like a couple of years old, but I'll probably, I'll probably get it for cheap actually. Yeah. Borrow a car again. It's quite. It was incredible. Yeah, it's ridiculous. The shit you're doing it. Um, I was gonna say if. Um, the one thing G- is a new GTA. How long was GTA Five? Pretty long. long. Oh, three, four years. Ago. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh. I'll tell you about how long was it. Oh. It's pretty, pretty good. It's pretty lengthy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was a few years because four was out in two thousand and seven, two thousand and eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Eight. Eight. Nine. Twelve. The, yeah, for that one. The five. Maybe. Oh, it was yeah. later than that, 12. It was like 14, I think. Yeah, so we've got three years ago at least. Yeah. And I've, I noticed that the revenue you've been making offline, online, because online's they keep bringing out new content for that all yeah. the time. So it's just like a uh, time it'll take to make it and where it could be and stuff. Yeah, they need to. Because they've kind of redone Sam. Sam, so they might do it uh, They might do a. Uh, the other two cities or something. They might do. That'd be interesting. I'd like to see somewhere new though. Yeah. I'd like so not set it. Busy. Or I'd like they could set it in not America. They could do London. That'd be funny. They did it in the original uh, top down GTA. Yeah. They, because in the original top down ones, you have fictional cities and then they did a random British one. Yeah. Yeah. So they could do an English one. That'd be cool. That'd be funny. Just come to Congo though. Come to Mafia. Are you waiting for? It's just a cow in life. Come Tafia. Tafia. <laughs> Come Tafia. <laughs> wow. See why, yeah. See why I make the big boss. Such a successful writer with ideas like that. <laughs> Come Tafia. Um, but yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, yeah, what other games would you like to see? Nina Kuni 2, as we've said. Probably, oh, if you do. Far Cry 15 stuff, it'll be the DLC, won't it? Next yeah. DLC. What? <laughs> Select from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> and with good cause. Um, yeah, if it's 15, they'll do that. But I, I'd like them to try and announce a new Final Fantasy. <laughs> 16, come on. Should have been working on it already, really. Yeah, because they're going to be like, ah, Final Fantasy 7. She's been at the concept stage of 16. <laughs> yeah. They probably did it at the time of, like, 13. They were probably like, Right, we can't do a 15 and announce this now because <laughs> yeah. it won't be out for another three or four years. Um, hey. Yeah, if it's 15, so it'll be DLC because they're doing that Prompto one, aren't they? Yeah. Prompto. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so <coughs> that'll be interesting. So yeah. Let's clear out stuff. Daniel, it's time for your. 60 seconds scramble. <gasps> the return of. Ah. Oh. He does a ramble using his mandible. It's Andy's 60 second scramble. 60 second scramble. Oh, yeah. So. 60 second scramble. <laughs> what game are you doing, Andrew? I'm doing Primal Rage. Oh. Part of me thinks I've already done it, but I don't think I have. No. You've done not Primal Rage. <laughs> Should have really checked, but <laughs> it well, wasn't Primal Rage. Right? No, it was it was a platform of Beast Wars and Old Beast. <laughs> yeah, so they've done all these dinosaur <laughs> themed, but old not the... Primal Rage. Oh, yeah. don't spoil it for the children. I mean, um, Primal based <laughs> things. Oh, you could do Primal on that game. Yeah, played. that was quite good though. Yeah. I just know nothing about it. I'll so. have to do some good games at some point. <laughs> I guess. 
Are you ready? Yeah, one just can't do a full uh, game review. Yeah. They could be described in one minute. <laughs> yeah. Van Helsing. <laughs> right, okay, so uh, recap. Recap. For those who don't know the feature, and who tries to describe classic game in 60 seconds. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> you say that. <laughs> Emphasis on track. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, Andy's 60 second scramble and Primal Rage. Is it Primal Rage? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Primal Rage, go. Primal Rage was a fighting game where you played as dinosaurs and big monkeys and some sort of weird snakes open from the moon. Uh, yeah. There was lots of uh, blood and like random animations. It was all like plasticine models that were made into dinosaurs. It was originally on the Mega Drive, maybe on the SNES, I don't know. And, uh, and it came to the safest time where they introduced uh, cutscenes for it, which were horrendous. Uh, tried to give them more, more proper backstories. Um, there wasn't really a lot to do with it. You just sort of bit and striked, and then there were fatalities for like random ones, and then there was a monkey called Chaos who like farted and threw up and pissed on things, and it was fine. And monkeys too. Yeah, uh, and then there was like alternate characters, and like some of them were evil, some of them were good for some reason, and then there was just, like a rat called Talon who had like lots of children, and it was like okay, very very, very good. Right, and right. then like uh, there were just all random things, and that's pretty much all I can say about Primal Rage. To be honest, I can't think of anything else. Good narration. <laughs> That's my little input. <laughs> Good, Good narration. <laughs> well, I did see the uh, cutscene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Good job. Yes. So, Primal Rage, by now. Yeah. No. No. So, maybe they're going to do a Primal Rage 2, but, like. You knew it. No. I, I should have followed the link really because I saw that they, they, they would start like, doing it and just didn't finish it but then it had like random people that could play as that were like huge but could fight the dinosaurs I oh, actually in the background of the dinosaurs they were like oh no, no this is oh this yeah that's something I forgot well never mind oh, this is a scramble extra because <laughs> we're giving you more yeah. information um, yeah it was all about conquering the world and you had to conquer it like the cavemen in the background and the ca- the yeah they were just like <laughs> model, modern people that were just like some reason yeah. oh yeah I because it was a meteor that crashed on yeah. it. Yeah. With dinosaurs on it? No. I forgot all these details in my flurry. Like, the way me like me meteor. meteor. She came down from the moon. Straddling it. Yeah. She, but it was like she was locked on the moon or something, and then, like, yeah. they were all on the Earth, apparently, but then when the meteor crashed, it woke them up, and then all of a sudden they decided to take over the world and, like, make. <laughs> it was like a reverse, uh, the reverse thing that killed them. Brought them back. Yeah. And, and then they like yeah, you played as them and you had to like take over each of the areas mm-hmm. like take a beach out and then that area became yours sort of thing and then if you got them all under your character then under one character then you did the final battle where you had to fight every character one after another yeah. and all the people in the background were like um, your servants and supporters Yeah. and you could, if they run forward you could eat them or knock them away and stuff so that was the 60 second scramble. Plus extra. <laughs> that was like that was my six minute scramble. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Uh, any words in passing? Hindsight? What? What? I don't know. <laughs> any um, words in passing? Because it's probably going to be the last shadow do before you go away. Yeah. Time. Well, this is the last shadow we're going to do before I go away. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, that's a relay so, the same information <laughs> twice, really. So, um, I'll, we'll continue it on afterwards and we'll talk about e- what we thought of E3. Yeah, we'll give I might our... try and do it whilst I'm away, because I'll probably be able to do it, but it'll be over Skype. Yeah. But we'll try and do it like a proper one, because I'll probably do try and do a video anyway. Yeah, do channel. some, yeah. Stuff. And I'll write up and stuff about what I think and things. So, uh, but we'll do like our own proper we'll video. Proper It'll be, won't be until mid July. Yeah, post E3. Yeah. <laughs> For all your current news. <laughs> <laughs> post E3, like a month later. <laughs> We're on top of that. Mm, perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, E3 stuff next time. Yeah. Will it be a special? It will be an extended two part special. Well, hopefully we'll be able to do it in 
like one go because like the last one of the E3s we did like we had to record it about six times <laughs> because you just couldn't do it you just like the quality either went down or like the recording failed or like we just didn't have time to like meet up to record it in person and then when we finally did it like broke or something we had to do it again yeah that's the fun of life of that's the joy of shod what is what could do what's it say it's time for shots. I should say. Oh, Bradley. Oh. Join anyway, us next time. Join us next time. <laughs> Bye. The Andy and Dan Shotcast. See ya. This week's Andy and Dan Shotcast was brought to you by the Chill Creative Team, Danji's Designs, and a network of awesome. Don't forget that as well as YouTube, you can also find me across all my other social media, which I will link in the description. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Speak to you next time.